Hey y'all, it's Erin with Rolling on Main Street. If you're new to the channel, welcome, go ahead and subscribe. And if you're not new, then welcome back. This is Gypsy and she's gonna be helping me today, I guess. In March, I did a series on YouTube called Universal Florida Basics. I also have blog posts to go along with my YouTube videos. You can find all of those linked below. And I wanted to do the same for Disney World. So if you go to Disney all the time and you know have annual passes or just go once a year even, this might not be the video for you. But if you are looking to go for the first time or maybe the second time and you really don't know what you're doing, then this is probably the video for you. I just wanted to cover the basics. Like when someone asks me, hey, I'm going to Disney World, what do I need to know? This is the stuff I want to tell them. I have my friends ask me that all the time and I'm not going to direct them to my YouTube videos. But I just figured other people out there had those same questions, so I just wanted to make a video for y'all. This first video in the series, I'm just going to cover like just a broad spectrum of Walt Disney World, just kind of what to expect, what each park is, what are other things to do other than the parks, and just give a broad idea of what Disney World is. In other videos, I'll go into the details like dining, rides that are at each park, um, hotels you can stay at, Disney Springs, I have a whole lot of ideas, so I will get to all of them in more videos to come. Um, for now, I'm going to focus on just overview of Disney, and then the next few videos will be about each individual park. Walt Disney World is large, y'all. It is the size, in acreage, it's the same size of San Francisco, and then I think it's the size, or double the size of Manhattan, which I've never been to either of those places, but it's the size of a city, basically. So if you don't know what you're doing, it can be kind of overwhelming. There are four theme parks at Disney World. Magic Kingdom, which is what you think of when you think of Disney. Like, that is the castle. That's Main Street USA. That's... Some people, when they say they're going to Disney, they mean they're going to Magic Kingdom. There's also Epcot, which I feel like everybody knows because everybody knows, like, all the countries around the world and everything. Um, but... There's so much more to Epcot than just World Showcase, especially right now because there's so much construction going on. If you've never been to Epcot, don't get to Epcot right now. It is a mess with construction. But in the next couple of years, it's going to be awesome because there's so many new experiences that are coming. There's a new Remy's Ratatouille Adventure ride that's opening on October 1 of this year. And then there's a new Guardians of the Galaxy ride and they're just redoing the whole center part of the park. Epcot's awesome. It has a bunch of rides that are really fun, actually. And then, of course, there's all of the countries around the world. I feel like it's a rite of passage for some people to drink around the world. I have not done that yet. It's on my list of things to do one day. But there's just so much to do at Epcot. Animal Kingdom is basically like a zoo and a theme park got mashed together. There are lots of animals to look at and you can learn things about them. You can even take a train out and go see where they do medical procedures on the animals. And if you're lucky, you might catch a procedure happening or them doing an x-ray or um, CAT scan or something like that on one of the large animals. And that's really cool to watch. You can take a safari and learn a whole lot about all of these amazing animals. And then there's rides. So Everest is one of my favorite rides at Disney World and it's at Animal Kingdom. There's just so much to do at Animal Kingdom and you can spend days there and still not accomplish everything. Hollywood Studios used to be called MGM Studios. I know a lot of people still refer to it as MGM. Um, so if you grew up knowing MGM, it is now called Hollywood Studios. And it focuses a lot on kind of the movies side of things. So it kind of tries to immerse you into the movies. This is where Toy Story Land is located, where you shrink down to the size of a toy and you're playing in Andy's backyard. And this is also where Galaxy's Edge is. So if you're a huge Star Wars fan or even just a casual Star Wars fan or even not a Star Wars fan at all, Galaxy's Edge is awesome. And the new Rise of the Resistance ride is incredible. Hollywood Studios also has Tower of Terror. And again, I'll do a whole nother video about all of the rides at each of these parks, but I'm just trying to hit the high points and give you an idea of each of these parks. Um, Tower of Terror is an elevator drop ride. It's my favorite ride. I was terrified to ride it until I was like 20. And then once I did, it became my favorite ride. But Hollywood Studios is a whole lot of fun, especially if you're really into Star Wars. There are two water parks at Disney. Um, Disney's Blizzard Beach, which I've actually been to, but when I went, I was terrified of any of the water rides. So I only did a couple of the rides and then spent the rest of the time in the Lazy River. 
so I probably need to go back now that I'm not scared of things anymore. And then Typhoon Lagoon, which I have not been to, but I need to go. But both of them are great water parks that Disney has. There is also Disney Springs, which is Disney's shopping district. So there's lots of restaurants, stores, um, stores that aren't just Disney. There's a Francesca's, um, Kate Spade, Columbia, Harley Davidson, Ron John Surf Shop just opened a store. There's all sorts of stores. There's also the largest Disney store in the world. I'm pretty sure that's still true. It's at Disney Springs and it's awesome to walk through. And there's a store just dedicated to Disney pins. There's a store for just Marvel things and a store for just Star Wars things. There's also tons of restaurants and we love just going and spending an evening at Disney Springs walking around and either making a reservation at a restaurant or just going to one of the restaurants that has walk up. There are lounges off most of the restaurants where you can grab either some of the restaurant food or an alcoholic beverage or a non-alcoholic beverage. There's live music. There's a new M&M store that's really fun. I'll post the link to the video when we went to the M&M store down below. There's dessert options. Uh, just last night we went and got ice cream at Hagen dazs after dinner. There's the new Gideon's Bakehouse, which is those like ginormous cookies that are covered in chocolate chips and look really good, but I can't eat because they're not gluten free. I'm not salty about that at all. Um, there's also a new Everglades Donuts that just opened. So much is happening at Disney Springs and it's an awesome place. It is free to get in also and free parking. So all of the parks, you have to pay to park. But at Disney Springs, it's completely free to walk in. Now, you're probably gonna spend a lot of money there, but it is free to just walk around and if you have self-restraint, you can go there without paying a dime. There is also Disney's Boardwalk which is a bunch of restaurants. It's off of Disney's Boardwalk Hotel, so you can't just park. There's not a parking area for it, but if you're staying at one of the hotels that are in the Epcot area that you can walk from, it's kind of in between Epcot and Hollywood Studios, and if you have a reservation at one of the restaurants, you can get to it. Right now, there's not as much going on on the Boardwalk um, just because things are closed due to COVID, but they have kind of carnival games like ring toss and stuff like that. There's a couple restaurants. There is the bakery, which I've heard is really good. And there's the Abracadabra bar, which we went to once after we had um, dinner over at Beaches and Cream. And so the boardwalk's just a nice place for nightlife. There is a, a Jelly Rolls, which is like a dueling piano bar. Again, not open right now, but hopefully it'll be open soon, maybe. There's also a dance hall and you can go and dance. They play a bunch of different music and just have a good time. The boardwalk again is a little harder to get to so i would suggest maybe making a dinner reservation at one of the hotels that are near the boardwalk and then you can walk to it from there i will go over dining and everything because i love dining i love eating at disney because they do so well with uh, allergy orders um so i'll do a whole nother video on that as well there's also a golf course and a couple mini golf courses at disney world again i'll go into more detail on all of this in more videos to come. So next week, be looking for a video on Magic Kingdom and all of the rides that are there. It might be a kind of long video because there's a lot of rides at Magic Kingdom. Thank y'all so much for watching. Wear your masks, wash your hands, be safe, and we'll see you later.